Okay, today I'm working on, I drew some scarecrows with graphite pencil. I've got this one, which is done, I think the highest number on that one was 8B. And then I got a new set where I had 10 and 12B graphite. So I did the background with the 8B as dark as I could, well, not as dark as I could get it, but just to get an idea how it's going to print up. And this one, the background is done with a 12B, very lightly, but the, it's very dark. Um, I just want to see how the new pencils that I bought would, would print out. And this is the last of my Halloween, pro, or actually fall projects that I was doing. They're not strictly Halloween, but I'm just going to voice over a little bit of the video, but most of it will be just me printing. I did the drawing, now I'm laying it face down on the gel plate. As you can see, it's smaller than the gel plate, which I wasn't totally happy with, but I didn't pay attention when I was doing the drawing to what size the drawing and the gel plate were. So now I'm just going to shut off the audio and you can watch. All I'm doing is laying down the drawings onto the plate, laying color over them, a light color over them, and then pulling them up. That's all I'm doing. At the end of the video, I'll show you a comparison of them and what I did with the, um, because when I'm done with with the uh, printing, that's not the end of it. Usually I go back over with pen or watercolor or whatever looks like would, would work. And sometimes I just glaze over them. But uh, at the end, if you wait, you'll see the pictures of what I, how I finished them. So just enjoy. This is a, an off-white. I don't know exactly which one I use. I, this is just an experiment. And uh, you, I just lightly try and roll it real evenly over the top. And you just, you don't need a heavy coat, just a very light coat. Just co make sure you cover all the graphite. You want to roll it as little as possible. I think I'm rolling a little too much there because you don't want to move that graphite. So now I'm just I'm just using regular drawing paper to pull it up. These are just experiments, so I'm not really trying to work on a finished product. I'm just experimenting. You'll see in a minute when I pull this up that and I'm using my, my hand cream tin to as a brayer. But you'll see in a minute when I pull this up, it comes out quite nice. Now, when you see it on the plate, it doesn't look like it's going to come up, but it, it actually comes up darker than the picture, usually. So, as you can see, it came up quite nice. This part to the to the right of the pumpkin head that I was missing a little, but I'm not too worried about that. But mostly it came out just like I was expecting it. Sometimes it actually comes out a lot darker than the picture that you drew. So I'm, try I'm trying to get a handle on what I need to do when I'm doing the drawing by doing these practice ones. Okay, this is my second one. I'm not going to yammer through the whole thing, but this is the one that was done with the 10B and the 12B. So it should come up darker, and it does. Um, I'm doing the same thing. You lay it down on the plate, give it a good rubbing to get the graphite on the plate. Put your light color over it once you get the rubbing down. And even if it looks like it's light on the plate, you, you'd be surprised at how much of it pulls up. And then you just pull it up. After I'm done with this, I will show you the, the two different 
prints we just made at the end, and then at the very end of the video, which is only a few, a minute or two more, I think, um, there will be photographs of the prints once I put pen and ink and uh, colored pencil over them. I think I was using the Chromaflow pencils, but I was using them very lightly. I wasn't making a heavy mark with them. So thank you for watching my video. Enjoy the rest of it. Like if you like it, subscribe if you want to see more, and you have a lovely, lovely day.